my child is being very clingy and sometimes cries even inconsolably are you as a parent also facing this issue sometimes are you aware the way that we parent our children can actually impact the way that they start developing an attachment style within them hello my name is tivanshi kanani and i am a skills trainer at q kids Welcome to our segment Active Parenting where we give you some tips and tricks that can help you enhance the overall personality of your child. In this video we are going to be talking about anxious attachment style. Now, anxious attachment style starts developing in a child when we as parents or caregivers are inconsistent in the way of how we parent our child. Sometimes the love, the care, support and the security, responsiveness to the child's need is present while the other times it might actually be absent. Now, this inconsistency in the parenting actually creates a lot of confusion for the child. they do not tend to understand our behavior or are also not able to predict what to expect from us as parents in the future another reason why actually anxious attachment style starts developing is because we as parents might also have a lot of needs due to which we might find it important that we are constantly in physical and in emotional contact with our child thus we tend to become a little bit overprotective and sometimes even intruding we might find it an extremely high need to wanting to be a perfect parent which is not in reality possible now how do we know that our child is developing an anxious attachment style a child who's actually developed an anxious attachment style might come across as very clingy and even whiny towards their parents or their caregivers for having their needs met some of the signs that your child is actually developing an attachment style which is anxious in nature are first crying inconsolably second becoming very very upset when the parent or the caregiver who they are attached to leaves them third not exploring as much as children of the same age group as them would do so fourth not being able to interact with strangers fifth becoming very aggressive with peers and actually even having a low social interactions with their peers sixth and the last one they have troubles regulating their emotions in the upcoming videos we are going to be talking about how we move our child to a more secure attachment If you found this video helpful please do like it share it and subscribe also click on to the bell icon and let us know what you thought about it in the comment section thank you